This month, I joined more than 52 million Latinos in Nevada and across the country to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Each year, Hispanic Heritage Month is an opportunity to honor the contributions of a population that is so important to our national identity, a community that has contributed to our country's progress for centuries. We see those contributions in every facet of our society, on the battlefield and in the boardroom, in the courtroom and in the classroom, at the art gallery and in the recording studio, and on the playing field. And Nevada Hispanic influence is evident in the name of our state, Nevada, snow-capped, Las Vegas, the Meadows. Today, more than a quarter of Nevada's population is Hispanic. And nationwide Latinos are expected to make up 60% of the population in the coming decades. To ensure our country thrives, we need to make sure its Hispanic population thrives as well. That's why President Obama and Democrats in Congress have fought for the policies that are making Hispanic families stronger and more prosperous. Despite opposition, we've made progress on economic and education issues that are important to Latinos and to all Americans. The Recovery Act, which included tax cuts for working families and improvements on unemployment insurance, kept more than two million Hispanics out of poverty. And unlike Governor Romney, we know Americans who access the unemployment benefits that are earned while working aren't victims who are unwilling to take personal responsibility for their lives. Victims are Mitt Romney's words, personal responsibility are his words. Democrats secured tax credits for more than 8 million Hispanic children and their families. Mitt Romney, on the other hand, believes tax credits for hardworking parents struggling may ends meet are a handout, not a handout. We Democrats fought to give small business loans to almost 9,000 Hispanic-owned businesses. Under a Romney administration, loans for small businesses would be a thing of the past, one more remnant of the dependency culture he loathes. Mitt Romney was caught on tape telling wealthy donors he'd be winning this election if he were a Latino. That's what he said, Mr. President. But we know Mitt Romney's problem isn't that he's not Hispanic. His problem is that he opposed the common sense policies that are good for Hispanic families. Republicans have been playing lip service to the concern of Hispanic families in the months leading up to Election Day. But Democrats are helping Hispanic families tackle the challenges they face every day. To us, Hispanic Heritage Month isn't just about recognizing the incredible contributions Hispanic Americans make to our nation. It's also about building a brighter future for Hispanic Americans in our nation.